Mom, have you ever been here before? No, this place is a rental pumpkin. It was just for the party. Oh, do you know what happened? No, that's what we are here to find out. But we have to be very careful. Do you remember our rules for when we go out? Yes, I become invisible and don't touch anything. That's a big girl attitude. You can walk around as long as you don't stray too far. And if there's any sign of trouble, I wait for you outside? That's it. We make a great team, Sweet Fangs. The police are here. Shit. That's a bad sign. Remember what we said. No wandering off. Yes, Mom. I'm a big girl. <sighs> okay, then. Where are you, Richard? Stop! You can't come through here! Hi, uh, I live in the building, and I was told to come give a statement. You need to go down to the precinct to give your statement, ma'am. Only law enforcement is allowed here. Oh, I hadn't understood that. Thank you. Have a pleasant evening. There's no way I'm gonna get access if I'm not one of them. <laughs> Great. Now I just need to find a secluded spot. This should do the trick. Sorry, but uh, we got a full house. Officers tripping over each other already. Only forensics is allowed in the crime scene. And the feds, of course. No sweat. It was just in case you needed help. I should find a uniform I can use to get in. This isn't rocket science. Keep it simple. I'll update the guns. Stuck here. Body We're bags. taking over the investigation. What could that mean? And we'll put all the stabbing victims in crates and send them out to the balcony. Exactly. Do you have any Body idea bags. what happened? What could that it's mean? Some kind of cult, right? At the moment, we're more inclined to think it's a terrorist organization. Again? The fuckers. Don't worry, we're used to it. We'll get them. They blew out the wall. I won't be sad when we're through with this. sensed me. He's here, but something's wrong. Good evening, officer. Uh, gentlemen. All these bodies. What the hell happened? Sorry, but I'm busy. Uh, 
I just got here. Can you fill me in? I've never seen anything like it. It's a real bloodbath in there. Do we know what happened? Captain Paulson thinks it looks like some kind of goddamn cult. But I've heard the feds talking about terrorists. The feds are here already? They showed up the minute we got here. We didn't even get a chance to see everything. How'd they get here so fast? They know who did it, obviously. Do you really think it's terrorists? It's weird, but hey, it could be. There are guys who are burned to a crisp, dismembered, beaten to a pulp. With those guys, you can expect anything these days. What do we know about all these bodies? Those are the ones we can take down already. The ones that were stabbed in the chest need to be put in crates and moved to the balcony. The feds will process them. We are not allowed to touch them. Stabbed how? Looks like some kind of sacrifice. They all got stabbed in the heart, it looks like. But if you want to make yourself useful, go see Paulson. Where is he? You just missed him. He just went into the living room. Okay, thanks. I'm gonna take a look around. I do. I want to leave, Mom. I'm scared. Hey, you're okay, Alzi. Uh, time out. Let's just calm ourselves down. It's so awful, Mom. My tummy really hurts. Look at me. Why would someone do this to them? My precious little sugar fangs, look into my eyes. I'm right here. We'll take it slow, okay? Each step forward, we take together. Okay, Mom. We have to try and think of something else when that happens. I've got an idea. Let's play a game. Here? In the middle of all this? Why not? We can just pretend they're not here, right? We could play Riddle Me This. Are you sure? You know I'm pretty good at solving riddles. <laughs> me too. Hmm. I've got one. Riddle me this. What makes a good slave but a poor master? Let me think. How about fire? Fire is something that serves us every day, but you should never let it become the boss. <laughs> yes, you got it. You are good. You're really good at riddle me this. That's better. You can do anything when you put your mind to it, Sugar Fangs. Wait, you didn't steal the answer by reading my mind, did you? What, me? I'd never do that. Never. Ha ha ha. I'll come up with a harder one then. Oh, we managed to control our hunger. Thank goodness. A vessel with more holes in him than a junkie. We're off to a good start. Blood. Kinds were killed here.
be a print on at least one of them. A glass of wine with traces of cherry-flavored lip gloss. were killed here and not just one RD Richard Dunham it's one of his old briefcases I recognize it maybe I'll find something I can play it with I'll stay here, Mom. Thanks, Pumpkin. All right, guys. Listen up. The feds are taking over the investigation. So don't touch a thing. Put all the stiffs with stakes through their hearts out on the balcony. They'll take care of them. All right, go. You know what you have to do. Shit. I have to find Richard and fast. All said and done, it's probably better that the feds are handling this case. They have more resources to solve it. There's a note. With everything he's already taken out of on the balcony. I wonder what surprise Jara had in store for him. Sorry, but I'm busy. Federal operatives and their assets are allowed in this area. Sorry. Sorry. Only forensics can go in there. Wait, wait, wait. What's going on? I can sense your hunger. What's going on? Shit! It's starting again. Mom, are you okay? Do you feel weird too? We've already had that talk, Halsey, my love. Don't, don't look at it. So, have you come up with another riddle for me? Yes, I've got one. I'm listening. It's not too hard, is it? No, no. Riddle me this. I fear the sun more than anything, and the mortals have been fighting me since forever. If they catch me, they keep me in a box. Who am I? The sun makes me think of us. But that box, that doesn't sound right. I'd say, could it be a fridge? You're very warm. The cold, it's the cold. Is that it? Yes! You're good at riddles, Mom. And you, my little pumpkin. You are a riddle master. Thinking about something else helps. <laughs> Me too. But we need to get going. Mom? What is it, Sugar Fangs? I hear voices, Mom. Do you hear them too? I hear Richard's voice calling out over the others. We need to hurry now. I hear him too, but I don't understand why we have to help him. He never wants to help us. Of course he does. Then why does he keep us apart? I... Uh, maybe it's just so that when we're together, we appreciate each other all the more. We do, right? I don't like it when we're apart. I don't trust him. We need to keep moving, Pumpkin. While Mom works, Halsey will come up with another riddle. Sound good? All right. We're doing all right. Lavender 
your soap. Somebody spilled wine on this bag. A pouch stained with wine. Amiko Izanami. Now I remember. She turns vessels into marionettes during parties. A cigar. Miley was supposed to speak. <laughs> or rather, flatter Hazel. Can someone come and bag a briefcase in the kitchen? A briefcase? We got a lot. I'm out of large size evidence bags. We got backup on the way. They'll have some. What do we have here? Tons of evidence. Do you know if the team from Forensics LPU has shown up yet? No, I don't. I need them to process the briefcase I found. And the invoice that was with it. An invoice? Yeah. For some glass tubes. Address to some warehouse over on Cellar Street. Shit. There's a red salon in that district. We've got to hand it all over to the feds. I can do it. I already gave them the address. They'll probably send a team to investigate when they're done here. I've got to warn Hazel. Dead. What could be in this briefcase? It's the reference of the container that was here. Guess they could use it as an excuse to add a door. literally blown apart. A briefcase. What is it? It's a small suitcase. We put important papers in, Pumpkin. Let's see what's in it. Better not leave that here. Otherwise, they'll trace it back to us. Serious injuries. Come with me over there. All right.
Aliens on deck, can Please, please. What's happening? What's happening to you? Mom. Yes? Come on, please. I'm gonna be here a while. Taking me, Pumpkin. I told you I'd be a big girl, but it's really hard. I really don't feel good. Not even a tiny bit. It's all this blood. Me either, Pumpkin. It's not easy. <sighs> Let's take a little time out then. Weren't you supposed to be coming up with a riddle for me? Oh, yeah. I forgot. I'm ready. I'm listening. Okay. But it's the last one, all right? Cross my heart, Pumpkin. So, riddle me this. If the child of Hazel Iverson is a sire of my child, who am I to Hazel Iverson? Hmm. Let me think on it a moment. I guess. I would be her child. Oh, you figured it out. That was a hard one, too. You're not disappointed, are you? No, no. I'm happy that you're so good at riddles. So are you, Sugar Fangs. I love it when we play this game. So do I, Pumpkin. It's so much fun. And we feel better. Time out is over now. Let's go. We're really close to Richard, but I don't want to see him. I know he doesn't like me. Halsey, we can't just abandon him. You don't have to like him, but we can't leave him here. You leave me every time he tells you to sleep. It's not the same thing. He's trying to cure me, for both our sakes. That's not true. He thinks I'm a bad girl. That's preposterous, Halsey. I don't have to tell him you're here. Getting him out of this mess is already doing him a favor. It won't take me long. Just wait for me here. Yes, Mom. I will. Explosives expert I called in for. Blood spatter expert, huh? Well, you've come to just the right crime scene. Let me brief you on the zone we're clearing now. We've got a stiff in the room on the right. Looks like he died from blunt force trauma. Anyway, we've got orders to pack them up as is for the feds. Don't bother with the report. They're taking care of everything. In the room on the left, there's a corpse we need to analyze. But I'm warning you, it's a real mess. The people who did this are crazy. It's all priority. Just check the boxes. Ah, uh, finally, Calvary. Thanks for coming. Just getting started. Well, actually, it has been an hour already. There's just so much evidence to collect. The 
It's not like this is my first crime scene, you know? But none of this adds up. It's the kind of case you take home with you. Go figure. What's with all these bodies in various states of decay? This shit is gonna give me nightmares you can't wake up from. And the feds are telling us not to ask any questions. Never met a talkative fed. And they grabbed them poker faces at Quantico. But I can tell you one thing, they got here fast, quicker than the blowflies. They took one look at the carnage and acted like it was just another day at the office. Examine the spatter trajectories. Get us enough data to calculate spray velocity. We'll need it. I'll keep collecting samples of blood and body fluids. for dead. He's barely breathing. This one's missing fingers. That's a knife wound. Huh. Bringing a knife to a gunfight? That's a knife wound. Huh. Bringing a knife to a gunfight? of the container that was here. It must have been screwed onto an injection gun. And the fibrogen. That's an improved coagulant. I've heard that if it's used on one of our kind, it can keep us from regenerating. Or even using our powers. A real nasty concoction. Only federal operatives and their assets are allowed in this area. Sorry. Come on. Our hands on deck can't hurt. Shit. Richard. did a number on you. They're here. They found us. Before I knew it hit me, I had a stake in my heart. I've never seen anything like it. These mortals aren't afraid of us. Shh, gentle. You shouldn't be here. You should be at the Institute. Calm down. What happened here? The mortals who are here, it's the Second Inquisition. What makes you say that? Are you sure? Yes, there's even a man of the cloth in charge of them. Monsignor Stanford. They mowed us down like so many blades of grass. All of us. So... 
They found us. We have to go warn the others. Wait. There might still be kindred here. We can't leave them behind. This is insane. It's irresponsible. The prince asked me to find Miley. But I need your help. Miley? Well, now I understand. The prince had you released against my orders, and she sent you here. And you'd rather obey her? She's using you. There's no way I'll help. Ask her for help since you're here for her. You didn't show up at the Elysium. I thought you might need help. Now isn't that ironic? The doctor needing help from the patient. But I was right, was I not? I... Yes. That's not the question. It's obvious that Hazel is manipulating you. She cares about me. I don't see why it's an issue. Does she care about you? Or about your premonitions? doesn't hold water. Hazel's not the first person to take an interest in our gifts. Princes have always sought glimpses of tomorrow to better rule their domains. Take Quentin King, for example. Yes, I know. She wants to separate you from me, I'm sure of it. What has she been telling you about me? Hazel told me that she trusted me. You do well not to return the favor. Why is that? You don't release a patient from a Markovian Institute to run a few errands. Ugh. You always see the bad in everything. Your gifts can be particularly useful to her. Keep it in mind. I just know it's a good thing that she likes us. Well, you particularly. Right, it's a good thing I keep my emergency kit at the Prince's apartments. Why? I'll give you a dose. Once we're back there, that should be enough to get you back to the Institute. I never promised that I wouldn't ever go back. But first, I need to finish what I came here to do. That's not how it works. You can't just interrupt your treatment whenever you feel like it. Richard! I'm fine. Since I can't diagnose it, I'll take your word for it. Hazel should have respected my instructions. What do you mean? She should have followed the treatment I prescribed for you, that's all. This issue is not over. I will have words with her. Let's get out of here. You go ahead. I'll catch up with you. Lisha, that's not what you I- You want me to trust you, but you don't trust me. It's not that. I'm... I'm just worried about you. Get going. The clock is ticking. You can, at the very least, let me help you. Here, with this, you should be able to temporarily impersonate anyone. I'll find Miley and catch up to you, okay? She was with me when they attacked us. She was? Yes, she was injured, but she managed to escape down the hallway. I heard them capture her. I can still sense her. She's hurt, but she's still here. Thank you. 
Come on, we don't have a minute to spare. Oh, and tell them they have the address of the Red Salon on Cellar Street. We should expect a second attack there. I must inform the court. Be careful. I'll be counting the minutes until you return to us. With Richard's help, I'll be able to find Miley for Hazel. A cigar. Barely smoked. That's where it was stubbed out. Huh. I've already seen this brand here. A reinforced container that locks from the outside. Not commonly used to store mortal bodies. <sighs> There's been blood in this glass. I never understood wasting vessels like that. A stake. There's no doubt about it. This is for us. Sorry. Only special agents are allowed in this area. There's so much blood sprayed everywhere. Go right ahead. Here we go. I wonder what's hiding here. Someone snipped a cigar here. Ugh, well, this thing reeks. Whoever smoked it must have left a trail of stink behind them. Stanford was right. We brought down some high-value targets. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Your clock is ticking down. Don't touch those papers. Shit. There are names on these files. I'd better get him out of here so I can take a look. Don't bother with that. Those are Stanford's files. It brings paperwork on a job like this? Yes. So his novice can record whether they were captured or exterminated. Oh, if they have intel on us, I have to find out what they know. His novice is busy, and... Uh... Agent Olsen's got a lot to do. But he's handling it himself. I needed to see him anyway. I'll just take them to him. Don't bother. He'll pick them up on the way to see Stanford. On the table. I. Okay. Finally. Now I can take a look at those files. Targets. <gasps> Targets. <gasps> they even have a file on Richard. I think that's Dijon's child. Was, I mean. Oh! Miley! They haven't taken her yet. Jora already evacuated. She's on the council, I think. Morgans. Are they cutting us up into pieces? Something to dip someone into. Must be for the kind. So, 
has forensics processed the bedrooms? Yeah, I think so. They, uh... You... think so? Isn't there anyone here that can inform me about anything? I've been asking for an hour. I must give Monsignor an update detailing how long this is going to take. Let's not keep him waiting, then. But the local police are very... Just tell them Agent Olsen sent you. And we will see how high they are willing to jump. We still have bodies to evacuate and samples to recover. You bet. You can count on me. of their gear, they knew what they were getting into. It looks like armor. They also suffered losses. This one's missing an arm. Hey, you! Come give me a hand. Here are the containers Richard told me about. We'll still be bagging evidence tomorrow at this rate. Which one do you want to take down? Sorry, I've got one more thing to do. No problem. I can't even begin to imagine how much the repairs are going to cost. There should be a body here. There's a coat on the ground.
Come on, let's not waste any more time. Monsignor will be growing impatient. stimulates mortals. And of course, I'm the one who's got to start collecting it all. Copier and some office supplies. No corpses anywhere? No. Come with me over there. Of course. Go on. The rest of your team is processing the balcony. I'll still go and look for a colleague later. Yeah, we're all gonna need breaks and breathing. I've never seen anything like him. I've had to entomb a few old bodies over the years. There are lots I never of thought I'd stumble across a cemetery full of them. Far from downtown. Stop. You can't go in there. Monsignor's standing orders. No interruptions. So Stanford is back there. But I just wanted to... It's too dangerous, and you know it. If you've got something to give him, tell Olsen is novice. Suit yourself. But remember I warned you. If I decide to go in there, I'd better be Olsen.
Agent Olson? Yes. You know that I'm a novice like yourself. Yes. Yes, that's right. You think that Monsignor would let me help him? Absolutely if... not. It's clear that I'm the only person he trusts here. Hmm. He's touchy, apparently. I'm guessing Monsignor Stanford's not the type you want to piss off, right? Indeed. But it is that same unwavering attitude that will one day save us all. These monsters are a corruption, and only the incorruptible can defeat them. Speak for yourself, monster. I guess. He doesn't enjoy it. But it is his calling to purify the world. And to think they say I'm special. I was just thinking that it might be faster, if I just went to tell Monsignor myself. That's out of the question. He abhors being interrupted by anyone except myself. But I... I'll do it. I'm the only novice here. Novice? So they have ranks. It's for your own safety. Trust me. We know so very much, and still so very little about those we hunt. All right, I'll let you get back to work. Perfect. Thanks, Olsen. Reinforced container that locks from the outside. Not commonly used to store mortal bodies. Get through this.
You fought hard, guys. Proud of yourselves. Mom! Halsey! Mommy knows what she's doing. Go away from me at the elevator. I'll be right there. You took your time, my son. Please forgive me, Monsignor. I'm done with this wretched creature. I'll continue back at headquarters, where I have more appropriate tools. You found some? Speaking of headquarters, any news? Nothing, Monsignor. Too bad. I was hoping to hear from our informant. An informant? No, I... Now we have proof that their intel is reliable. Without the informant, we never would have found them so quickly. And utterly exposed. So we were betrayed. These monsters are as fickle and deceitful as the devil himself. Do you know who... Seeing them turn on each other, it's in their nature. But the one who betrayed them... None of them will ever surprise me as you would have been wise to consider before approaching me. Uh, I don't understand. Halsey, mommy knows what she's doing. Go away from me at the elevator. I'll be right there. You took your time, my son. Please, Please forgive me, Monsignor. I'm done with this wretched creature. I'll continue back at headquarters, where I have more appropriate tools. You found and... some? Speaking of headquarters, any news? Nothing, Monsignor. Too bad. I was hoping to hear from our informant. An informant? No, I... Now we have proof that their intel is reliable. Without the informant, we never would have found them so quickly. And utterly exposed. So we were betrayed. These monsters are as fickle and deceitful as the devil himself. Do you know who... Seeing them turn on each other, it's in their nature. But the one who betrayed them... None the of them inf will ever surprise me as you would have been wise to consider before approaching me. Uh, I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> In St. Leopold's name, we will find you all. 
to the very last. 